I'm Archie Jacobs with Manufacturing Automation. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to build your first advanced HMI application. For this demo, I am going to be using this control logic here to read values of tags in the controller scope tag list. Now before getting started with advanced HMI, you need two pieces of software that are free to download. The first is Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition. You need to download and install that package. The other package is the actual advanced HMI software. You just need to download and unzip that package. You do not need to install it. So to get started, I will assume you've already installed Visual Studio. So then I will go to my menu and start Visual Studio Community Edition. Now we'll take a few seconds for that to open. And once it's opened, I will go to um, Open Project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse to the location where I unzip the advanced HMI software. And what I'm going to look for is a Microsoft Visual Studio solution file or the .sln file. So I will open that file. Now once the file opens, the first thing you should see is this form right here. If you do not see this form, go to your Solution Explorer and expand down if you have to the advanced HMI project and you can look for main form .vb. Double click that and you will then see this form here. Now in this form there are six steps that show how to create your first advanced HMI application. The first step is build the project. So let's go up to the build menu, do build, build solution. And once that's done, the next step is to add a driver. Now going into your toolbox you may have to scroll all the way up to the top and you're going to see a section of advanced HMI driver components. Now since I'm using a control logics and communicating over Ethernet, I'm going to select Ethernet IP for CLXCOM. I'll click on that once, I'll come to my form and drag out a box and you see down here it adds a instance of that driver. Now with that driver selected, I will go to my properties window and you see here it's asking for the IP address. Now my controller is already set up for the same address as the default, 192.168.0.10. So I will not have to do anything there. So now the next step is to add a visual control. And in my toolbox, I am going to go look for the digital panel meter. Click on that once, come to my form, and drag out the size I would like it to be. Now I'm going to relocate it. Okay, so now with that selected, I will go back to my properties window. Now what I'm going to look for are some properties that start with PLC address. And the one in particular, I want PLC address value. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in dent tag because that is the name of the tag in my uh, processor. And once again, it is a controller scope tag, so I don't have to proceed it with anything. So now, once I did that, the very next step is step number six, run the application. I can either press F5 or I can come up here to the toolbar and click start. So you see it builds the application and it launches and you see it immediately connects and reads the show me the value in my tag. So you see, that's it. How quick and easy it is to get started with your first application at Advanced HMI. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy the software.